tonight I have a very special guest, Irina Cosma, who is a career counselor specialist and a leadership developer. Welcome to the set tonight, gorgeous. Thank you so much for the invite. I love what you do because there are so many women out there. We deal a lot with empowering women to be their best selves. And we were talking a little bit about with the chit chat previous to this interview about following your dreams. And life is so short. We mm -hmm. don't know how long we're really going to be around. And you deal with so many women that get a pit in their stomach when they have to go to work every day. Well, you're here to change that, right? Yes, uh -huh. I think it's important. We, I mean, as long as we know we have one life, one so life. it's good to be more aware of our life and enjoy the ride a little more. Right. And uh, during my work with different clients, I developed a three steps framework right. for people to find their calling, find the career that makes sense to them, find the purpose. And um, should I go into I would love I, it. What are these three steps? I don't want to be too technical. No, but I want to hear <laughs> it, girl. Important. I'll break it down if it's too so, technical. Uh, so the three steps are uh, go deep, uh, go forward, and uh, go broad. Okay, so, so we're going to go deep. So go deep inside of yourself. Uh, Is that what go deep means? Tell us. So let's let's break it down. Break so, it down. Uh, first, we we go um, broad. Right. We go broad to understand uh, what our cliches and what our preconceptions that we should do that or we should do that or I am good only at that or at that. So and you were talking about like your parents wanted you to be an accountant. Uh, yes. Same thing. That yes. is preconceived. My parents want me to do this, but that's not really what my dream is. Yes. Broad. That's broad. Good. Very okay. good point. Yeah. So let's broaden our perspective. Let's bring new information to our brain of what's possible. So let's open up a world of possibilities before we jump. Uh, mm -hmm. This is what I tell to my clients usually, don't invest time and money and just jump without making an informed decision and making sure that you kind of know what this next step in your life is. Because I also I find it sad, it's sad to stay into a place where it doesn't make sense to you, but also it's kind of wasting time if you jump and jump and jump in a Absolutely. haphazard manner. Mm -hmm. So my whole philosophy in a way of career counseling and coaching is make an informed decision. Uh, right. That's important to me, and that's uh, important for my my clients also. So, uh, go broad is a phase of experimentation, of learning, of uh, talking with people, of bringing new information into your system. And during this exploration phase, you learn new things, and you start thinking things that are possible for you that right. you didn't know that are possible. It's a phase that usually takes longer than you might want. Right. It's a phase that feels like never going to end you cannot find your answer where is the answer where is the answer people right. are very impatient and uh, they want to jump immediately like and i'm like no don't jump make sure get more information right. however at one point the the end of this phase comes and then uh, the next step is to go deeper and make sure that again don't go to school again and don't invest money and time before actually touching a little uh, that work the next career so right. Go Deeper is all about volunteering, finding a project, uh, finding a side hustle, get closer to the work before you do the jump. Right. And Go Forward is all about now you know what you want. It becomes a job search type of process. It's like right. update your resume, interview skills, and start applying for jobs. So go broad, go deep, go forward. So I will say that would be different, the reverse of what I would think. You get the resume together, uh -huh. you search for a job, you see what job is the right match. So I love your formulation. But I will say a lot of people, women and men, are stuck in this rut where they work for a paycheck, they have a family that they have to provide for, they need to pay their rent. So that crunch in their stomach when they have to go to, to work every morning is a crunch because they need that paycheck. And a lot of people are intimidated with change um, because, you know, the grass is not always greener. It is usually because they find happiness, but convincing them of that. So I love your little journey because before the resume, they're looking at the broadness of dreaming the impossible dream. What could be? What, what could happen that possibly... I didn't think could happen until I researched it and allowed my mind to envision this, right? That's so important, this mind of ours right. uh, can, can create so much goodness if we right. let it. So one thing that I, uh, I talk with my clients usually is like this idea of like, 
allow yourself like nobody is forcing you like you mm. are the one putting the barriers like right. you are the one who need to set yourself free and free up your brain right um, and they say oh I don't think I can do this I don't think this is too hard don't put that barrier yet <laughs> like right. uh, hold your horses imagine the possibility nobody is telling you right. nobody is hiring you for the job yet you are far right. away from the last step for now, just imagine the possibility. Imagine the impossible because it is a possibility. I love your story because you played you played volleyball mm -hmm. for eight years. And that you, you were a professional player, but you wanted something different. You wanted something, you know, something that did not mm -hmm. hold you down, correct? Yes. yes. So there is something to be said on um, taking some control on your life. So again, mm -hmm. another thing I feel many, many people feel like I ask people who owns your life? Like, I don't know who owns my life. You, you own, own your, your life. life. <laughs> you get one. You get one. Yeah. You get to own it. So a little more courage. Mm -hmm. And I know you were saying earlier, like, people are feel like there's no, no escape or, like, this is my job. You're stifled. Like, right. Mm -hmm. Another thing, another possibility and broaden the perspective, there is this concept called polarities, where you can hold two opposite views in the same time. It doesn't need to be one or the other. Right. Can you hold both or can you think what's in between the two? People usually say, it's, I can do only this, it's only this, I cannot see anything else, or it's this or this. Right. Usually there are more answers. The gray area in between, there is a, the fun of life happens. Uh, it's right. not so black and white. So, mm -hmm. okay, you have a, need a paycheck, I understand practical side of life, but you have nights, you have weekends, you can, you can do other, you can explore, mm -hmm. you can figure it out. It doesn't have to be just this. Right. So dream the impossible dream and jump because it's you only get one life. You also do leadership development, leadership mm -hmm. for those leaders that are in jobs. What is your formula for that? Ah, oh, leadership is such a such a cliche word mm -hmm. and um, so easy to be in a leadership role. It's so hard to be a good leader. Exactly. What um, makes a good leader? Uh, what makes a good leader? Um, somebody who should care about. The, the others more than they care about themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, very hard to ask from a, from a human that usually reach the leadership role because they cared a lot about themselves. And we like they to cared. win. They cared about their career, right, they cared they about mm -hmm. their expertise, mm -hmm. them, 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 them. That's what got them their leadership right. job. And now they need to let go to all of that and all these people, they are your priorities. It's right, about them. because they make you the leader that you are. Yes. Your people. Right. And again, it's not me versus them. It's both. Us. It's another polarity, Teams. you know? Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's not like I'm giving up. I have... It's together. So you train them to not only think of themselves, but think of those surrounding them or that work under them. What other... Yeah. So um, there are these uh, kind of standards, people skills, like to be a good coach, to know how mm -hmm. to delegate correctly. But there are also skills like ba basic skills in a way, decision making. Decision making mm -hmm. is such a fundamental, like we make decisions every day since we wake mm -hmm. up in the morning and until we go to sleep in a role in a company a leadership a job decision making is fundamental because if you didn't analyze the data if you didn't collect the data if you didn't look at options and you didn't make a decision on time and you didn't mm -hmm. follow up all this we say decision making but it's a chain of action that needs to happen and a good leader knows how to go through that chain in a way that at the end there is a good decision that right. will help the team everyone the, the team so mm -hmm. this decision making is a critical one. Influencing skills is another critical leadership skill because it doesn't matter how amazing ideas you have for your team, you want different things. If you cannot get buy-in for different other people right. to put them in practice, they mm -hmm. are never going to see the light of day. Right. Um, inspiring, so important for a leader, so hard. Right. Yeah. How uh, do you inspire? Uh, how it's it's a lot. I think it's a learned skill. I think all of this that mm -hmm. I'm talking about are learned. Nobody's born a leader. Right. You are becoming, it's a very, I think it's a very unnatural thing to be mm -hmm. a leader because you don't born like that. You you become one and it's hard work. And this is what I'm doing with my, my clients. Mm -hmm. It's work every day, every week, every hour. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to be a good it's one. The investment. Yes. Yeah. Again, you can be a leader every day, all day long. A good right. one. Very hard to be very one. Hard. Right. Right. So just for our, our mm -hmm. viewers out there that are maybe transitioning into trying to find a new job, mm -hmm. trying to jump, trying to really find themselves and make the most of the one life they have, what is the one line of advice you would give them? Mm -hmm. One. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. You have it inside of you. Okay. Uh, 
That's great. Yeah, I really believe mm-hmm. that we all have it. It's a lot of work. People right. give up sooner sometimes. Mm-hmm. Uh, nobody usually people give up. They say, "Oh, give up too late." But I think many people give up sooner than they should right. on trying something that they want to accomplish. Right. I love that. This gave me a little heart flutters and just trust yourself. I love that. Thank you so much for stopping by the set tonight. You were so inspiring. We love to have women come on that inspire other women and lift other women up and men. And you have done just that. So thank you. It was an honor to have you as our guest tonight. Thank you so much. It was a lovely conversation. Oh, thank you. Trust yourself. Those are two words that can make a difference in your life. So let's do that. Let's trust ourselves.